time to prep Miata. It has duplicated. But anyways, prepping this, uh, painting it a surprise color for you guys. And because I have nothing really else to do to this car, being that it was already a built race car, it's got the brake pads and all match now. Uh, I should get an alignment because he did take out the Zetas and put in the Flying Miata suspension, but the alignment's not terrible. It's good enough for me to trust it on track. So really all that's left is paint, and why not do it? Because we got a paint boot. Um, but I don't know if you guys saw the deal that you wrench we are now offering. It's a three to 500 spray and you do all the prep work and the masking and everything. And Fred, our paint guy, basically just sprays it for you. So all of the, the beauty and everything of a paint job is in the prep work. So if you don't put the time and patience and care into prep work, it's gonna come out with a really terrible you know, paint job, even with a very experienced painter. Doesn't really matter if the prep work isn't up to par. So, Tons of video on sanding is to come, so be prepared for that. But I'm about to hate life now, so. <laughs> so. So the black is feathering out really nicely. You can see it's actually just completely coming off really easily but I have this jawbreaker effect. Uh, so it was this purple color a few times. This is that black still, I think this is actually Montego blue, but because this is flat enough and it's not flaking off like this stuff is, um, this will be fine to leave stuff like this, as long as it's nice and flat and not flaky, because it won't mess with the, the paint. But we're gonna get an epoxy sealer for this so we don't have to worry about it too much. Uh, and that way it's got a nice little surface. The epoxy will adhere to almost all the surfaces that there are. So even if there are spots like this, it will just cover that and, and adhere to regardless of how much more extra this is compared to this, how much more layers it has on top of compared to this. So the epoxy sealer will make it nice and flat and that way we can just do one solid color. Back to sanding. We don't make mistakes. We have happy accidents. Little accident number one. Little accident number two. Again, as I do, 
wear a mask. Anyways, that actually took a little bit less time than I thought it was going to. I thought it would, I'd be here for a while, being that, as everybody knows, prep, sand work, all that stuff takes the most time out of painting. Uh, once all the prep work's done, the paint job can be done within, you know, a day. So, that's kind of awesome though that it didn't take as long as I thought it would because that means this whole car can be pretty much prepped quite a bit faster than normal cars because the black wasn't put on properly. As I showed you guys, this hood has a jawbreaker effect. I believe it's been purple twice, white once, and maybe the first color was red because after red you get down to metal. I don't really know. I know that one of the doors is not from this car. I'm not positive about the other one. This hood may or may not have been from this car. I really don't know, but it's kind of fun discovering it through the different layers of paint. Anywho, I'm gonna blow this off really quick. That's what she said. And then move on to the next section. I didn't discover this little guy till we got through the paint, so I'm gonna try and feather that out a little bit better. And so it's not such a rigid little guy. And I have a little bit more touch up to do on the hood. And then I'll move on to the fender. Jello, day two of hell. No, just kidding. Just sending life away today. This is how far I got yesterday. Nice one. Uh, got the hood pretty much done. It's all edged out and everything. So the hood's good, even though it looks very blotchy and jawbreaker-esque, but it's pretty much smooth. We're gonna epoxy over it anyway, so no big deal. I did get this fender pretty much done, uh, except for right here, I didn't finish this little spot up. Uh, but I did start on the driver's side door and I got into the textured area pretty far, but that's super gnarly down there. So it's not easy to knock down that texture. Uh, good thing is that the black is super easy to take off because it wasn't put on properly. Uh, so it didn't adhere properly. So sanding time is definitely shorter than a normal car but i realized i wasn't showing you guys what i was doing so on all of the panels once we did a couple of test spots on the hood we realized we could do 150 grit 
everywhere with the DA. So that's this little guy. Because 80 grit is too coarse, it's too harsh. And if we went any smaller or finer, it would take me forever. It wouldn't really do much. So 150 has been doing most of the work. It takes a little bit of pushing and coercion in a couple areas, but like for instance, we did a little test spot here and it was only for a little bit and the black's already pretty much came off a little. So we'll have to feather out some of these little cracks too, these little spider cracks. But uh, it's one reason that we had to feather this out and go all the way down to the metal. It had some really weird paint crack. But you can see that the hood was originally white, because it's the primer, white. Then it was red, then it was red again, then it was purple, then it was purple again, and then Montego blue and black. So anyways, I do have three panels at least started, not completely done. So I'm gonna finish up that driver's side door, finish up that little area on the fender. Then after that, I've just got, you know, a couple more panels to do, bumper, rear quarters, rear bumper, trunk, hard top, lights, mirrors. But yeah, um, I'm actually not set on a color yet, believe it or not, <laughs> just kinda tired of seeing the black and wanted a different color. So once the prep's all done, I should already have the paint by then. Uh, but I'm gonna keep it a surprise for you guys until the big reveal. Anyways, back to sanding. I'm gonna mask some of this off the rubber because I keep hitting the rubber. Um, it's not a big deal. It doesn't really matter too much, at least to me but might as well just to be safe. That way when I go with it with the DA, I can definitely get this little ridge that's right here. It's a kind of a steep surface, um, but it's easier if I have this masked off. I don't have to worry too much about running into this because it won't matter. So then we get to mask off the car to paint and sand and paint and sand and paint. It's kind of hard to mask when all this paint is chipping right where I need to put the tape. <laughs> this is lovely. And uh, hard top used to be white, I believe. Unless it's got another jawbreaker effect and we'll see. But almost done with the masking finally, which it's only gonna save my rubber. That should be enough masking for now just to get me started. I can get the hard top now and this whole side. So don't need to mask a whole lot more. Uh, just need to get the sanding now. Yay. You can probably see a little bit better now that it's in the sun. This area, it looks textured, but it's actually very smooth and very soft. Um, there's a couple of spots that are still textured down here and right here, but it's just because of the line, the shape of the car. It's hard to get into. Obviously, these spots are not sanded at all. You can see I tried to get into there, but almost burnt through, so I stopped. Uh, here, this is different. So this is just dust on top of the texture because I was wiping to, I don't know, feel how bad the texture was, I guess. <laughs> but this here is fairly smooth, except for this area but this takes a lot of uh, patience to get through because the texture is very thick. She thick. <laughs> so I'm gonna spend most of my time getting this texture off down here and then hopefully completing this panel this morning and I can move on to the quarter and maybe the hard top. We'll see how I feel because sitting on the floor isn't super fun.
smooth now other than this little bottom section that I'm gonna have to get separately but you can see how much of the blue and everything else kind of stuck it used to be white I believe as well so this whole car probably used to be white based off the panels I've seen but some of the doors and other things have been replaced before so who knows honestly but I'm gonna wait to get this bottom part because I don't know if we're removing it or not and I'd rather just wait I think I'm gonna move on to the rear quarter now and continue the life of sanding. So handle mirror off on both sides so I think it's a good time to get back to sanding now and then I'll move on to the tail lights and wing once I'm ready to take a break from sanding but I'm gonna finish up this door uh, and get this quarter completely finished as well with that little bottom section I'll probably just do si this complete side and then move on to that next side because uh, I'd rather just get it all done rather than going back and forth there's no point so, more sanding, but instead of making you guys sit through that, done! And I already moved on to the little lights back here. I didn't realize how cute the little baby bulb is. It's so adorable. Anyways, I'm gonna get the tail lights out and the wing off. And then I'll move on to the trunk and finish up the rear quarter as well as start on the bumper. But it's a nice little break because I have been hand sanding in this little groove because the DA cannot get in there and it's all texturized in there. Still looks like there might be a little bit there, but definitely different from before. And Fred thinks we can get this painted by December 11th, which is my birthday. It's what I'm going for. Come on. Ah, there we go. Okay. Give me headlight. Is there a bolt still? No. Woo! <laughs> well, that was almost really bad. But got it. Now, either get the wing off or start sanding some more. Either way, my back's killing me. I don't know about you, but I don't think it looks right without any sort of wing at all. I think it's missing something. So definitely putting the wing back on. Not sure if I'm gonna paint it or just polish it, uh, being that it is part of the little area that I have to look through. So being painted, it's kind of gonna be hard to look through. But now I just gotta DA or sand all of this stuff back here. Um, I don't think I'm gonna move the license plate because there's no point, but I'll mask off the third little brake light right there. And I'll get this back section done and then move on to the passenger side. I think I'm gonna do the hard top off of the car uh, or remove it so I can get in there really good in the back section. But we'll see once I get there. I'm just gonna start going at it now.
update. So the trunk was actually pretty bad. That's why quite a few spots are down to the metal. Um, but these are actually, this one was a nipple, now it's a divot. So that's great. This one is a little nipple guy. It's sticking up higher than the rest, but it's because they had some sort of trunk thing on here before. That's why there's these spots that were holes before. But for the most part, as far as I can tell, it's pretty smooth. Even this area that looks all cracked is actually smooth. Um, obviously these edges aren't, but I gotta go around and edge it anyways. Um, but for the most part, the rest of it's smooth. And so the trunk is pretty much done. Now I just gotta do this back section and obviously the bumper as well as of course that section, but I think I'm gonna take the hard top off anyway, so. But once I get this little back section done, then I can move on to the side and hopefully get this thing all done maybe by today? I mean, it is 109, so we'll see. obviously have to weld this and fix this so it's not just a freaking hole. I'm gonna get into that groove by hand with some sandpaper and then I will move on to the passenger side and getting that done hopefully today. But I want to finish each section before I just keep moving on to the next panel because otherwise I'll have to come back. But I guess I could do all the edging and the hand stuff at once but it's a nice little break because I already have everything else taken off that I wanted to, so I don't really have a way to stop and move on to something else or take a break by doing something else. So that'll be my break. I'm gonna do that part off camera because you guys have seen plenty of sanding already, but there's more to come. I promise you guys aren't missing out on much. Just my frustration. I started on this side, which had that big sticker that ripped off all the black paint, and it's already feathering out pretty nicely, but then I realized I wasn't recording, so I'll set you guys up so you can see. Okay. Won't be a big deal. Didn't take off too much. But it is nice to be sitting this time, because I haven't been sitting this whole time and my back is killing me. I'm sure many of you are noticing I'm not exactly using DA completely correct, but it's getting the job done. So... Well, I'm just gonna skip to the good part. Good part's done, besides the texture, but I forgot to film. I got headlights and front bumper completely sanded, as well as front fender, besides the texture part, of course. I'm gonna move on to hard top, just the top part for now, because my back is killing me and I don't wanna lay on the floor to try and get the texture part, because the texture part is the hardest part on the Miata. So, still have hard top, textured part, of the passenger side and then the A pillar and above the windshield. Um, and then other than that, I just have the edging to do as well as in the little ridges. So almost done. And this is barely second day. Two day prep Miata. spider cracks up here um, and I sending them down it is 
to the fiberglass, so we're gonna have to bondo over these little ones because they are divoting. But uh, that's gonna be for the bondo stage, which the only other stuff we have to bondo or fix is this wheel well fender or fender is all jagged something happened to it I'm assuming they try to roll it not sure and of course that antenna hole will have to weld over and possibly bondo so for only two days of prep I got pretty much everything done the hard top is almost done except for the small sections as well as the trunk right here, that small section. Uh, and the texture side or texture part of the passenger side I have to finish besides obviously the A-pillar as well. But pretty much almost got it done in two days. So tomorrow I'll just finish up the last little bits and get the edge work done, start the bondo work and welding and we should be able to get it primed by tomorrow. So for the most part, the Miata's done prep work wise. Um, everything else is pretty self-explanatory, you know, edging, stuff like that. Plus most of this was time-lapse anyways. So I figured I'm not gonna make you guys sit through more of that. Um, the next step is to get it primered, well, after the Bondo and the welding fix, which we're planning on doing tomorrow. So this car may be primed by tomorrow. Then we're gonna let it sit for a couple of days in the sun so it, it bakes and really gets on there really good or dries really good uh, and then go from there. Of course, we're doing the epoxy as well, but for only two days on this, I'm uh, pretty pleased with it. It's a lot, a lot of work and uh, I don't advise anyone to do prep work if they don't have to, however, U Wrench does offer three to five hundred dollar paint jobs where you do all the prep work and we paint it for you. So that's sanding, bondo, any of the welding fixes, any of that stuff body work wise, uh, masking it as well. So you basically bring it here, you mask it outside, and then we pull it in. All that Fred does is spray it, whatever color that you bring. Of course, you have to bring your own supplies as well for that, and then you got a done paint job. But the paint can only come out as good as the prep work was done. So prep work has to be up to par, otherwise not gonna have that great of a looking paint job. So if you guys are interested in that, you can hit us up on Facebook or Instagram at uwrench, or you can give us a call at any time at 520-372-2406, and then we'd be glad to help you guys out. But you can also rent our paint booth anytime and do the paint yourself as well. So totally up to you guys, but we do offer both services. Anyways, uh, I will film tomorrow whatever we do get done and that'll be in the next video. Um, so hopefully she'll be done with the next coming weeks and I'll have a finished pretty Miata.